We're all on the board of directors for Youth Ending Slavery, or YES. It's a student-based and student-led nonprofit that is working to combat modern-day slavery. It's been the process of coming together for maybe a year and a half, and I think it's really taken root here because we're all, um, we are young women, and that is the demographic that has really been most affected by modern-day slavery, so we're really passionate about fighting against it. St. Mary's has given us a very unique education in that we have been taught through all of our classes, but particularly in our religion classes, the importance of human dignity. We really centered around the idea of a walk initially because we wanted to create an event that would really involve all of Portland, especially, um, especially students. And that was really, it was such a wonderful thing. It was such a wonderful day because we got to see that kind of this effort we've been making for so long was really paying off and that people that we had never met before were there and really committed to learning more about it and committed to doing something. We raised $1,000 for Athena House, which is um, a shelter for minors who are survivors of sex trafficking and it's one of the only shelters of its kind in the whole country so we really are really thrilled to be able to support that kind of thing because there need to be more shelters like that. We've earned about roughly $2,000 now um, with this grant that we're getting for $250 and we don't really feel comfortable using that money to file our 501c3 paperwork which is a couple hundred dollars um, but we really want to do that to legitimize ourselves as a nonprofit and there's been so much interest in other high schools and students at St. Mary's to start chapters of youth ending slavery and so in order to be a really official umbrella organization we want to be able to file this paperwork so this grant is going to enable us to do that. I think one thing we emphasize at the walk is that whether human trafficking or combating that is your passion or something else some other aspect of social justice is we really want to emphasize you shouldn't let your age be a barrier because we think that the voices of young people can actually be especially important because we're going to be you know tomorrow's teachers and politicians and parents and whatnot so we have this opportunity to